All right, inequalities this lesson is about. In year 10, we start to encounter maths that has more than one solution. I've got the most basic one here. What's the square root of four? What number do I times by itself to get four? Two. That's not the only answer. Two over one. No. What's negative two times by negative two? Four. Four again. Okay, that's my most basic example of it, and that's what sort of starts splitting you guys going into next year, because guys going into sort of essential and stuff like that, they're gonna do real life maths, where negative numbers are ignored. They're just doing like trading maths. But if you're looking into methods and everything, you need to be able to deal with multiple possible answers. Sometimes the solutions can be within a range, of values, so we need something like an inequality to represent the ranges. Please note, unlike in Japanese, what direction do you read in Japanese? Huh? And then also, right to left, you, like a book from Japanese, you would read from right to left. That's not us, a Western society, we read left to right. So these signs run on that assumption. You're always saying this is something than this on the right. So can someone tell me if I've got the beak pointing to the right, it's what? Greater. Good. Suddenly there's a line. The open side always points to the larger thing. The closed side points to the smaller thing. But because we read from right to left, if I see this, you're telling me that the thing on the left is greater than the thing on the right. Okay? Give me a couple of minutes to get that down. If you, why do you need to get that down if you know, you already know, okay? Don't waste your time if you understand. But then if you stuff that up later, see? So hopefully, you can see I've been truthful, no maths here, just definitions right now. Oh, did you say crocodile and stuff? Yeah, I remember some, one, um, one some student teacher did slope and stuff, they had a song. I'm not going to do any songs. Just teach to them. Now you're a little restless. I know it's um, I know it's less than six. So that you can so that you can chat. So that you can chat. I'll just go through this so that I can stop that. And you can just go fill up. Okay? Because this is not math. This is what you're doing today, so you can finish off the algebra from last lesson and the couple of questions on this. You need to know in your head what these inequalities are talking about. It's important you know how to represent what an inequality actually means. This can be shown above a number line, like we've got up there. A little dot over a number means that number is included. A circle over a number means it's not included in the range of answers. And a little arrow and a line coming from either the dot or the circle indicates the range of possible solutions. Because we're not talking about only one answer, we're talking about a whole range. That range could go to infinity. On the number lines below, present. This is the exercise you're practicing today, it won't take you all the five minutes. A is what? What, arrow, what does that arrow, arrow represent? It's on the left foot. Greater than negative one. What kind of a dot am I going to put over negative one? The closed one or the open one? Closed. Closed means it includes, but I need every number that's greater than negative one not including negative one. So I would write this, because what does the circle mean? It is not included. So what, negative one is my limit but according to this, greater than negative one is negative one part of my range? No, it's not. 
I don't want anything that, I don't want negative one, I want anything that's greater than negative one. What direction would the arrow go? To the right or to the left? Right. Right, because are these numbers larger as we go to the right? So, you know, I practiced that. That was a bit iffy, but that's fine. We've got two more examples here. What's different about this? What, what does this equal to but what? Greater than or less than? So does this include the two? Yep. So what kind of a dot or close. close dot? And which way is the arrow going to point? Down. So hopefully you can see what the open things mean. I could go all the way to negative 0 0.99999999, but I can't include negative 1 because that's open. Anything else is cool. Love that. This one's a challenge. This isn't actually... Your questions don't actually ask this, but I might as well teach it to you because it's logical. There's one word that represents this situation. And anyone has a guess what that means? If my number... Range. We're, we're talking about ranges all here. What if we broke it down? What if we broke it down into this little bit here? What is the beak telling you that negative 4 is in comparison to A. Is negative 4 smaller than A or bigger than A? So this is saying that A is bigger than negative 4, but at the same time, what are we saying about A in comparison to 3? A is less than or equal to 3. So if I've got A is bigger than negative 4, and A at the same time is smaller than 3. There's one word that starts with B. Let's talk about that. Let's say, let's say um, this student, oh, I almost did it. I almost said, I almost called it. Let's say this student was standing here, and this student was standing there. What's the word that starts with B that describes my position? Between. Yes. So if you've got something like this, what is this telling you about A? A is between negative 4 and positive 3, but we need to draw the circles properly. What kind of a circle is it going to be over 3? The, the good, close. What kind of a circle is going to be over the negative 4? Open. So we care about, the possible answer could be 3 or below all the way down to th negative 3.9, but not 4. That's how you visual, you should imagine that in your head when you're answering questions about inequality. Okay? So literally, you, I'm only asking you to do... What have we got Five D, but only what it says on the timeline. Your homework in now. Five D, showing inequality. No algebra, no maths. You're just telling me what does it represent along the way. Yeah. Okay? And please, some of you are telling me you did the whole timeline. I've never asked you to do all of it, just parts of it. Can you work on that, please? I'm going to shut my mouth now so I can stop recording. You obviously have a lot of energy. You want to chat about whatever. I don't know. You want to go dance up there?